Ball Street. And in 2021, we traveled to all 50 U.S. states as part-time travelers. During our 50 states adventures, we learned so much about ourselves, the world we live in, and the incredible gift of travel. For that reason, we're excited to continue our adventures, big or small, near or far. In our last video, we were road tripping from Miami to Key West, hitting as many of the iconic sites along the way. Like feeding the tarpon at Robbie's, eating conch fritters and key lime pie at Key's Fisheries, and driving across the famous Seven Mile bridge. This week we continue our adventures in the Sunshine State. Welcome to Key West! Also known as the Conch Republic, this almost eight square mile island is known for many things, some of which are key lime pies, chickens, and six fingered cats. But more on that later, we have one day to explore this beautiful island, and you know us. We're gonna be doing, seeing, and eating as much of it as we possibly can. So let's get to it. But we were on our way to breakfast and we had to stop at one of the only beaches here on the island, Smathers Beach. Be prepared when you come to Key West, that parking is awful. So we definitely recommend walking as many places as you possibly can and or biking and or moped. We're trying to find spots now for breakfast. Make sure you look on the road. They'll have it marked like in paint on the road at every parallel spot. It'll say resident permit. And that is for residents only, obviously. So you gotta find a spot that doesn't have that. And then make sure it's not a paid spot or if it is a paid spot, pay the little kiosk. I had no idea about the paint on the road. So that's my job right now. Nope, we're good. The one after it says it. Matt found a spot. Breakfast, here we come. So over the years, this place has hosted a lot of things, including cockfighting, gambling, and outdoor boxing matches. Apparently, Ernest Hemingway officiated some. Guys, this food looks delicious. I got their famous lobster Benedict. And I got banana pancakes. I'm so excited. Also, it's worth noting that with their Benedict, they use a lime hollandaise sauce, which makes it lighter than a traditional hollandaise. I love lobster, I mean, so how can you go wrong with that? But the creaminess of that poached egg and that hollandaise is delicious. Oh man. And then you get the crisp from the English muffin that's been toasted underneath it. Mm, so good. Here we go, lobster Benedict. What you think? Um, you went cross eyed. That's so good. <laughs> I've never had eggs benedict before. I think it's my favorite thing now. <laughs> that lime hollandaise is really, really good, especially in this heat. It's pretty refreshing. It's delicious. All right. Now for banana pancake time. Let's dive in. Mmm. Is that good? That's so good. The question is, is it better than our Hawaii banana pancakes? Honestly, I think it is. Really? I think it is. What do you think? Right? I think it's because the bananas are baked into it instead of it being like on top. Yeah, I think that's the key here. You get some of the crispiness from the caramelization on the banana, yeah. but the rest of the banana is like buttery smooth. The only thing... Nuts. Yeah, I think... I think that day uh, <laughs> I knew what you were so going to say. So our pancakes in Hawaii had like macadamia nuts sprinkled yeah. on top. And if they had sprinkled some pecans or... Walnuts or, or something walnuts on, inside. I think walnuts oh. or... Oh, that would have been delicious. Right. That is the only thing I would change about these banana pancakes. Other than that, what is on this plate is absolutely delicious. I am in blue heaven. <laughs> 
I see what you did there. <laughs> So I made the mistake of telling Natalie that this was supposedly Kenny Chesney's favorite key lime pie. And she immediately I mean, said, well, we can't not get key lime pie here. Kenny and I are like best friends, so I'm gonna text him and see if that's true. <laughs> but I mean, look at this meringue. Kenny, I'm glad we got it. I've never seen a key lime like this. Have Kenny you? and her aren't friends, by the way. Yeah, we are. <laughs> right, Kenny? <laughs> Have you ever seen a key lime no. pie like this? Never mind the fact that this key lime pie has been featured on many TV shows and magazines. Kenny it Chesney. Was, it was the Kenny Chesney thing that got Natalie. But yeah. this goes back to our debate from our last video. We're about to find out if we're meringue or whipped cream people. Let's see. <laughs> Did I get it? Oh. Oh, that one's tart. That one is tart. The meringue adds an interesting texture. Obviously the meringue is more of a texture thing than a flavor thing. I don't know mm. what I like better. I like both. I think there's room for both in the world. Yeah, I think it's okay to like both. I don't have to stand hard on no. either side of this debate. I'm a fan. The crust isn't as crispy, I guess. I don't know mm -hmm. how you'd say that. Not in a bad way necessarily, but. There's not a crunch at yeah. all involved. Look at those layers though. So I'm completely <laughs> stuffed from that amazing breakfast. Me too, so now I think we're just gonna go stroll the streets, see what we can get into, and try to walk off some of that key lime pie and pancakes and lobster, but. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Hemingway was given a white six-toed cat by a ship's captain, and some of the cats who live on museum grounds are descendants of that original cat named Snow White. to the famous Duval Street. Yep, and now we're just gonna walk around, see what we can get into, take in the sights, and we're seeing some dark clouds off in the distance, yeah. so we're praying that those stay off in the distance. <laughs> it's right. freaking raining yeah. right now. Those dark clouds didn't stay in the distance for long. No, and it's so sunny, but it's yeah. raining. It's not hard, but. No, it but it is definitely raining. Let's take cover somewhere, I we guess. We might have to go into Sloppy Joe's bar. Well, I mean. That, that is one of the most popular bars here on Duval Street, so. We're still full from breakfast, so we're just gonna walk it off and hopefully it doesn't rain too hard. Yes, it hasn't rained hard yet. It's just been a light drizzle. So Consistent drizzle, but okay. <laughs> postcards yet and we haven't given up on that but we did find some awesome things for our monthly patreon giveaway and some of these will also be included in some of our travel trivia for our patrons so if your name is down below you just want to <laughs> we just want to say thank you so much for all of your support you guys truly mean the world to us yep and if you're interested in becoming a patron check out the link down in the description we would love to have you in the family some time to kill here on Duval Street. So I think we're gonna take a quick tour of the Martin Hellings house, which is now the Key West Women's Club. We had some very nice women as we walked by offer to give us a free tour, so we figured, why not? Why not? <laughs> You guys know me, I love a historic house and I love when it's free. Yes, and our tour guide was... <laughs> and our tour guide was incredible. She was so sweet. She lived here for like seven months out of the year and then goes back to Boston where she used to own and operate a tour company there. So she was super knowledgeable and just the kindest person. Yeah, so we highly recommend checking out that when you're here. Now we're on to lunch. Yes.
this isn't the most film friendly place because the music is really loud. So loud. So. And it's back on now. Yeah. But we're at Garbo's, voted number one tacos in Key West. We got Diners. their popular Korean barbecue. Diners, drive ins, and dives was here. <laughs> Let's dig in. Matt just apologized to me. What did you say? I said sorry for what I said and that I was cranky when I was dehydrated. <laughs> we can't stop sweating here, guys. After having our Korean barbecue snack, which was really good, we are hanging out in the Truman Annex. Enter your stop number now or call us back when you're ready. Built in 1890 on the waterfront as a two-family dwelling for the base commandant and paymaster, it was converted into a single-family residence in 1911. President William Howard Taft visited in 1912, and Thomas Edison lived here for six months during World War I while inventing 41 new weapons. President Harry S. Truman used the house for a total of 175 days. During his administration, he spent 11 working vacations here, and the building became known as the Little White House. In 1948, the Joint Chiefs of Staff met at the house to create the Department of Defense by merging the Department of War and Department of the Navy. Can we talk about the free audio tour that I just found out? Now I gotta find a map um, so I can go to all of the stops. Did I mention it was free? That's amazing! <laughs> After an amazing time exploring the beautiful city of Key West. And a wardrobe change now, as you can see. We're about to go spend the rest of the day on the water. With fury, and I'm <laughs> so excited. We're gonna start off with jet skis. So, GoPro, here we come. <laughs> Getting suited up. About to go hop on some jet skis in Key West. So I've been trying to find it, which stinks. Note to future Natalie, don't wear fake eyelashes on jet ski in the wind. I don't know if my eyelashes are on. 
I can only see out of one eye. <laughs> so it's a 90 minute tour. It feels a lot longer because if you've ever done that machine at the gym where you squeeze your inner thighs together, that's what we've been doing for a solid hour at this point. <laughs> the wind and just and holding on for dear life. Are... For dear life. Whew. I'm gonna be sore after this, like my back. <laughs> my, I've, I've been white knuckle gripping the entire time. One thing that I found that I like a lot better is holding on to this baby down here rather than holding on to Matt. I just told her it's to like... scream if she falls off because I didn't know she was on behind me anymore. It's like riding a Bronco. <laughs> That was insane, but so much fun. I literally only have one contact in, so I can't see anything. So we're going to catch an Uber back to our <laughs> hotel so we can replace the contact before our next adventure on the water. Because we already paid for 24 hour parking on Duval Street yep. and we're not giving up that parking spot. No, not at all. Do not enter no. valet parking only. Okay, we gotta figure out where our Uber is going. Great chaos. Make sure you uh, <laughs> like and subscribe if you like chaotic content like this. Oh, man, it's a whirlwind. I really honestly can't see anything. I'm legally blind, by the way. And I don't want to hear any of the jokes about, oh, no wonder she's with Matt, man. <gasps> oh, no, but I'm definitely legally blind. I know Matt is handsome, so. Because she has 2020 with her contacts in. Yeah, and so. And met with her contacts in, <laughs> so there's that. But otherwise, I'm negative 4.7 vibe, so I couldn't see anything. Matt was having to scream. Yeah, I was just yelling the directions that she could leave. Like, left, right. Please look at this hair. What is oh, happening? Yeah. It's a rat's nest. I left it down. There's and actually a rat in there. I wanted to let it blow in the wind, and it is... I can't believe you did that. But it was a lot of fun. Definitely recommend. So I'll see you when... She can see. Yeah. <laughs>doing much with our hair but no. most importantly she can see I can see <laughs> all right so after that jet ski tour we are super excited for a much more relaxed evening on the water so we're gonna be snorkeling and doing a sunset cruise with fury water adventures yep. and I am so excited yep. let's go get checked in Ready to snorkel. Yep, just got all lotioned up with our sunscreen. I'm excited for some reggae music. <laughs> <laughs>
mist and seaweed. But we're in the water. So this cruise normally goes to the barrier reef, which is on the Atlantic side of the Keys. But because of weather, we ended up having to come to the Gulf side, which isn't as much a reef, but still nonetheless an incredible snorkel trip. making lemonade out of lemons because this weather was not in anyone's favor today to do this but yeah. we're having a blast <laughs> my eyelashes make it. It is. Your goggles protected them. Yay! <laughs> I found some seaweed. I think I might be starting to get wild. <laughs> oh, he's taking some hair with it. Blowing it back. You can have it. You're not supposed to take any bait. And I put my hair up. We had an amazing time. We can only imagine how much more amazing it would have been if the weather had actually cooperated, but nonetheless, we had an excellent time. One thing we know for sure is that we would definitely use Fury again. Yep. Their crew was so good. Yeah, but now it's time for some dinner. We are starving after a whole day out on the water, so let's go. That key lime sauce is so good. The fritters are fresh, not as crispy on the outside as the one at Key's Fishery from our last video, but the flavor is so good in these. Can't complain one bit. My pasta is ex so expensive, so expensive. <laughs> But it is really worth it. I am like really in love with it. Mine has been amazing. I'm a saucy guy. These people know how to do their sauces. Like I said, this key lime sauce is amazing. And then you gotta ask for the Mike's hot honey on the side. So good. So dinner was really good. The only thing I wish we would have had was more key lime pie. Yeah, but all the key lime pie places were closed by the time we finished dinner. Yeah. I can't believe our time in Key West has come to an end and we honestly can not wait to come back and explore more. We hope you've enjoyed watching and if you did please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it helps our channel out way more than you know. Be sure to tune in next week for more adventures. We'll see you then. Literally I can't put my hands through it look. I've got <laughs> curly bits in my hair that I've never seen curly before. <laughs> Beach <-tar>. Okay. <laughs>
Come on. Oh, you gotta finish your line now. This is too funny. <laughs> Come okay, on. okay, I'm working on it. <laughs> this kid. Matt, our bird photographer. He was posing for me. Thanks, bud. <laughs> so, How you gonna do that to me? <laughs>